Welcome to our journey back in time to the Ice Age, a period when glaciers carved their way across continents and colossal creatures roamed a world much different than our own. Here in North America, the landscape teemed with a breathtaking array of megafauna, animals of immense size and power. Over the next few moments, we'll journey back to this frozen epoch, encountering eight of these incredible beasts. From the towering mammoths to the fearsome saber-toothed cats, we'll uncover their secrets, exploring their lives, adaptations, and their ultimate fate. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video, and leave a comment below. Your engagement helps us bring the wonders of the historical world to your screen. Our first encounter brings us face to face with a predator of unparalleled might, the giant short-faced bear. This colossal creature roamed the vast expanses of North America during the Pleistocene epoch, a time when the continent was teeming with megafauna. Towering over 11 feet tall on its hind legs, this behemoth was the largest land predator of its time. Its sheer size and strength made it a dominant force in its ecosystem, capable of intimidating even the most formidable of rivals. Imagine this massive bear sprinting across the open plains, capable of reaching speeds of up to 40 miles per hour in pursuit of prey. Its long legs and powerful muscles allowed it to cover great distances with ease, making it a relentless hunter. Its short, broad face housed a set of powerful jaws that could crush bones with ease. These jaws were not just for show, they were essential tools for a creature that needed to consume large quantities of meat to sustain its massive body. Fossils paint a picture of a creature that was both a scavenger and a formidable hunter. It likely fed on a variety of prey, from large herbivores to smaller mammals, and even carrion left behind by other predators. The shifting climate and the arrival of new predators, perhaps even our own ancestors, likely contributed to its demise. As the environment changed, the giant short-faced bear faced increasing competition for food and habitat, leading to its eventual extinction. As we move on from the shadow of the giant short-faced bear, we're reminded of the ever-changing nature of life on our planet. The rise and fall of such magnificent creatures highlight the delicate balance of ecosystems and the impact of environmental changes over time. Our journey through the Ice Age brings us now to two iconic predators, the saber-toothed cat and the scimitar cat. The saber-toothed cat, with its elongated canines, is perhaps the most recognizable symbol of this prehistoric epoch. These magnificent creatures were ambush predators, their powerful limbs allowing them to wrestle down enormous prey like bison and camels. The scimitar cat, though possessing shorter, more blade-like canines, was no less formidable. Their adaptations, honed by millions of years of evolution, allowed them to thrive in a world locked in ice. But as the climate changed and the megafauna they relied upon began to disappear, these formidable felines too met their end. Our exploration of the Ice Age takes us now to the frozen plains and forests where we encounter the dire wolf. Larger and heavier than its modern gray wolf descendants, the dire wolf was a social predator, hunting in formidable packs. Their powerful jaws capable of crushing bone made them formidable hunters, capable of bringing down even the largest of Ice Age herbivores. Fossil evidence suggests that dire wolves were highly social animals, much like their modern counterparts. Recent genetic studies have revealed that dire wolves were not as closely related to gray wolves as their physical similarities might suggest. These apex predators, though long gone, continue to captivate our imaginations, their story forever woven into the tapestry of the Ice Age. Chapter 4. Mammoth and Mastodon, Titans of the Frozen Tundra. Journey to the Ice Age Tundra, home to giants, the Woolly Mammoth and the American Mastodon. The Woolly Mammoth, with its shaggy coat and long tusks, is iconic. Reaching up to 12 feet, they were adapted to the cold. The American Mastodon, slightly smaller, was equally impressive. Its shorter tusks and prominent hump set it apart. Mastodons preferred wooded habitats, eating leaves and bark. These titans, though gone, still capture our imagination. Chapter 5. Giant Ground Sloth, The Gentle Giants. Our journey takes us to the southern reaches of North America, where we encounter the giant ground sloth. These massive herbivores reaching heights of up to 13 feet, were a far cry from their modern tree-dwelling relatives. Their massive claws over a foot long were used for stripping leaves and digging for roots. 
Interestingly, these giants were not native to North America. Their ancestors hailed from South America, migrating north during the Great American Biotic Interchange. Even the most imposing creatures can be gentle giants, a testament to life's diversity. Chapter 6, Camelops, an American Odyssey. Our Ice Age expedition takes us across the vast expanse of North America where we encounter the Camelops. These ancient camels, ancestors of today's Arabian camels and South American llamas, were once a common sight on the plains and grasslands. Fossil evidence suggests that camelops were highly adaptable creatures, capable of surviving in a variety of habitats, from grasslands to woodlands. Interestingly, camelops originated in North America, only migrating to South America and Asia via the Bering Land Bridge millions of years ago. As we say goodbye to the camelops, we're reminded of the interconnectedness of life on our planet, and the profound impact that environmental change can have on even the most successful of species. Chapter 7. Giant Beaver, a Rodent of Colossal Proportions Our exploration of Ice Age North America takes us now to the waterways and wetlands where we encounter the giant beaver. These ancient landscapes were teeming with life, and the giant beaver was one of the most fascinating inhabitants of this era. This colossal rodent, reaching lengths of up to 8 feet, was a true giant of its time. Imagine a beaver the size of a modern black bear, swimming through the rivers and lakes dominating its environment with sheer size and strength. Its massive incisors constantly growing throughout its life, were capable of felling trees and shaping its watery domain. These teeth were not just tools for survival but also symbols of the giant beaver's dominance in its habitat. Despite its size and formidable appearance, the giant beaver was, like its modern relatives, a herbivore. It fed on a variety of aquatic plants and tree bark, playing a crucial role in maintaining the balance of its ecosystem. Interestingly, unlike modern beavers, there's no evidence to suggest that the giant beaver built dams. This difference in behavior highlights the unique adaptations and ecological niches that existed during the Ice Age. As we bid farewell to the giant beaver, we're reminded that size isn't everything. The fossil record provides us with a glimpse into the past, showing us how even the largest creatures had their own challenges and adaptations. Even the most colossal of creatures played a vital role in the intricate web of life that existed during the Ice Age. Each species, no matter how big or small, contributed to the rich tapestry of life that once thrived on our planet. Chapter 8. The American Zebra, a Striped Enigma. Our journey through the Ice Age concludes with the American Zebra, a fascinating creature that once thrived in the vast expanses of North America. These striped equids, closely related to the zebras of Africa, once roamed the plains and grasslands alongside mammoths and mastodons. Their presence added a unique dynamic to the ecosystem, contributing to the rich biodiversity of the time. Fossil evidence suggests that the American zebra was slightly smaller than its modern African counterparts, with a stockier build and shorter legs, likely adaptations to the colder climate and different terrain. These physical traits helped them survive in the harsh conditions of the Ice Age. Interestingly, the American zebra disappeared from North America towards the end of the Ice Age, thousands of years before the arrival of humans. This extinction event remains a mystery, with scientists still debating the exact causes. As we bid farewell to the American zebra, we're reminded of the dynamic nature of life on our planet. The rise and fall of species are part of the ever-changing tapestry of Earth's history. Species appear, flourish, and disappear, their stories etched in the fossil record, waiting to be uncovered and understood. Each discovery adds a new chapter to the grand narrative of life on Earth, offering insights into the past and lessons for the future. Chapter 9. A Legacy in Ice our journey through the Ice Age has brought us face to face with some of the most incredible creatures to have ever walked the Earth. From towering mammoths to fearsome saber-toothed cats, these animals have left an indelible mark on our planet, their stories echoing through time. Which of these Ice Age giants fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.